Hey there guys, it's me again Shin Misaki, we're back here again, Dark Soulsing it up. Last time we went and killed off the Hydra, we went and, um, what else did we do? We killed the Hydra, we went and, um, <clears throat> went down through the Valley of Drakes and some other stuff, I forgot exactly what all we did. Praise the sun! Sorrow. <clears throat> I can't take this. See this big, uh, this big sword right here? That's gonna go and start up the boss here by walking up to it. I like this cutscene, so I'm gonna watch it. Just because I think this is like the most badass boss of ever. <laughs> and also because I really like pups. Look at it, Sif. I think seeing Sif in like HD would be amazing. <clears throat> Look at that, he's so cool. Sif is the... Oh god, Sif can go and mess you up. That attack right there will go and just ruin your day. The easy way to deal with Sif is to get underneath him because he can't go and freely attack you underneath. Uh, and if you have a weapon like the uh, Great Scythe, then you can just deal with him really easily. Alright. And one thing that I like about Sif is he's, he's a dynamic boss. It's like, uh, what that? He's a really easy boss if you have the uh, weapons and like you're geared for it. <clears throat> or you're ready for it, I should say. And by a dynamic boss, I mean that, like, he actually goes and shows signs of, like, when he's injured. So doing that, he's really low. Look at him limping around. I'm sorry, Sif. I'm sorry. His swings are... It takes him a while to go and recover out of them. <clears throat> Looks like he's about to go and fall over. When he goes and tries to go and make his jumps and such, he just can't anymore. But he still fights on. Look at how slow that is. I really like how he goes and spins that sword in his mouth, though. Come on, Sif, jump. Jump, Sif. Oh, look at, um, poor Sif. Alright, we'll end this here. I'm sorry, Sif! We got the soul of Sif and we got the covenant of Artorius. The covenant of Artorius is what we came here for. Um, let's see, let's use a Homeward Bone. Oh, I don't need to go and equip that. We're just gonna go and use the Homeward Bone so we can get back really quick. <coughs> and we're back over here fully healed because we go and uh, stayed at the bonfire with that. We have the, uh, I don't need that ring equipped, so let's go for the uh, Wolf Ring again. Going to go down over to the Valley of Drakes, pick up our dead body that we had before, because I never died, remember? <clears throat> and then that's gonna that's gonna put us in good shape. Still back over there. go. Oh, there we go. Um, actually, hold on a sec. I'm gonna check this shield here. I shouldn't be taking damage like that. Oh, it's a 95 physical. That's how come that's no good. Alright, let's go and... Let's just go back over to the crest shield. That's how come I was taking extra damage when I shouldn't have been. Alright, let's see if we can go and get this ring that I wanted to get last time. Oh, what? Oh my god. Wow. 
I just lost like 30,000 souls and like 16 humanity like that. That was terrible. That's like the worst way to die. He didn't even go and hit me. He just turned his stupid tail when it knocked me off. <laughs> wow, I'm... I'm not liking that. The thing I don't like the most is losing that fifth, uh, losing all that humanity. I was gonna go and use that humanity. Uh, it's gonna go and make things more, di uh, more difficult, I guess, if I'm gonna be farming. go get this thing back fucking asshole dragon get out of here piece of shit Come on, get out here. <clears throat> yep, I got the other one as well. It's not what I wanted. I just want one of you. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I heard the other one. Frame rate, go faster. <clears throat> All right, so we got that one down. This one's going to be a lot, lot easier because we can actually go and move. Come on. There we go. All the drakes over on this bridge are down, so now we can go and climb up here. You notice that that over there is uh, the new Londo ruins. That's what we're going to be heading to next. By climbing all the way up here, we're going to go and find a ring. The ring that I was talking about several episodes back, the red tearstone ring, which when our health is low will go and boost our attack power. Yep, red tearstone ring. <coughs> Sliding down. We're not going to go into New Londo Ruins quite yet, although that is where we're going to be going. And since we're right here, we may as well go th going through this way. Um, let's see, we're going to go and travel along here. And we're coming back around, like, pretty much to all the places that we've been to. Back up, back up, back up. And there we go. Dragon. Ah, where are you going? All right, he's down. <clears throat> That's going to be all the Drakes in Valley of Drakes. It's a really small area. Uh, right around here, where he was, uh, where he was guarding, it's going to be a humanity. I thought for some reason I was thinking it was a twin humanity. Over here, this way we're going to go and find another undead dragon. There's two ways, uh, there's a couple ways you can go and fight this dragon over here. Uh, this dragon is guarding a couple items. One of them is the uh, dragon shield. And um, a humanity, I believe. No, some souls. So we're just going to go and start attacking straight out. Do some bonus damage to him. 
It's pretty much just going to be exactly like the uh, what we went and fought over in the painted world. However, we're not going to have the luxury of being able to go and maneuver too much around him. So, pretty much just tank stuff if you can. You can go and either do it like this. Watch out for his swing, his swipe, it's very painful. You would much rather have him go and uh, just spit out his crap at you. Why did I die? Why did I die? I had my shield out! <laughs> Alright, so now that he's woken up, um, he's going to be awake and he's going to be flying around. We are not going to fight him over here. We're going to just fight him over this way. God! I hate it when stuff like that happens. <coughs> So we're going to continue on down this way. We're going to go through New Londo Ruins. We're not going to go all the way down like um, to that second level where uh, where you saw. Uh, where I went and showed you where we were. We're going to go and just go and skip over to the Valley of Drakes. Skip over to the Valley of Drakes and then we're going to just go and um, hit the Undead Dragon over on this side. Since we unlocked that earlier, we now have access to this. And continuing on down here, we're going to go and find that undead dragon. <clears throat> Sometimes he, uh, he'll just be flying around and then... No, he's not going to be flying around. Sometimes you can, like, you can just go and shoot him from a distance if you just want to go and range him. Um, however, that is going to go and take forever. And I kind of don't want to go and spend the time for that. These physical attacks do hurt quite a lot, so do be careful of those. And as long as you can go and keep on just going and spitting out his crap, you can go and take him pretty easily. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go and just get up close to him when he's doing that and just swing at him twice and then just roll back. Let my stamina recharge and go and hit him again. There we go, he's down. We got our souls back. We got the Astora Straight Sword. Uh, we went and killed him. We got a Dragon Shield, Dragon Crest Shield. And over here we have the Soul of a Proud Knight. <clears throat> So now we're going to go and head back up over to um, the fastest way is going to be up over at um, uh, Firelink Shrine. We got our souls back, so that's good. And so from Firelink Shrine, we're going to go back up. We're going to go and save up there. I think we still have plenty of time. Yeah, we still we're only at like the 14 minute mark right now, so uh, I'm gonna go and save up there. I'm gonna go and be uh, become human. There's gonna be another. <coughs> uh, excuse me. There's gonna be another boss that's coming up here. Uh, for this, I want no, not the hawk ring. Um, I want the hornet ring. So I can go and kill the Dark Wraith really easy. Uh, let's see, where's my humanities? There they are. Yeah, it's a real shame that I lost all that humanity. Um, I'm going to show you something a little bit interesting. 
that I've never done before. First of all, we're going to go in reverse hollow. <clears throat> and then we're going to go and kindle this bonfire. When you kindle bonfires, it goes and consumes humanity. And normally you can go and kindle a bonfire up to um, one time. And then they'll go and uh, boost your SS flask up to plus 15, or plus 10. Um, however, after you go and kill uh, Pinwheel down over in the catacombs, then you can boost up to a maximum plus 20. And then, right now this bonfire is... Um, boosted to the max. So currently we are human. We have our twin humanities just in case we need them. Um, I need to go and grab something else. I need bottomless box. I need to go and grab some stuff here. Where is my transient curse? <clears throat> Okay. I may go and switch armors as well. Very likely. Um, oh, yeah. Let's go and grab this Dragon Crest Shield. This one's 100% uh, damage. It has a, lot, um, has a lot of fire, so it's very good for that. Not too much magic. We're going to keep the magic one because the Four Kings do use magic based attacks uh, from time to time. And we are human for this, uh, for two reasons. First of all, because you can't kindle the bonfire unless, you have, um, unless you're human. <coughs> and I want to have as many uh, Estus Flasks as I can for this next boss fight. And also because... Um, there is a uh, person that we can summon up here. So to start things out with, we are going to go and pop our... Um, transient curse because we are still here in the area of the ghosts and there are still ghosts even though we went and lowered the water we said we wouldn't really have to deal with ghosts anymore and that's true there are still just a couple to go and deal with though and I think it's better to go and just be ready for them ooh jacket ghost boy there's one of the cursed weapons with a cursed weapon like that, we can just go and attack the ghost directly without having to go and have the transient curse. So in case you ever go and run out of transient curses or something, you can still go and attack ghosts. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. So, oh, why am I even doing this? Why am I going this way? The best way to get down over to the uh, lower levels is when you're down over here, you can just go and walk down over here, and you can just drop down onto this little ledge right there. Then further on down, drop with just a tight, uh, just a tiny bit of damage, and then we're back down over here. Ooh, crap! <clears throat> oh, crap! I don't have my wolf ring, so I just got messed up. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna go and pop one of these twin humanities. So now sitting at our bonfire. All right, guys, I'm gonna go and stop right here, and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna attempt the. Uh, we're gonna take on the four kings next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is Shin Masaki going to play through some Dark Souls, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.